Coming up, a cold pizza exclusive. You get the first public look at the much-awaited Halo 2. We go to Gaming Central this morning, the ESPN Zone in Times Square. When we come back, you are watching Cold Pizza. Welcome back. I'm here at the ESPN Zone. It's a big day because we're going to give you a sneak peek look at Halo 2, a game that's not even out on the market. I'm here with Sundance D. Giovanni, who's going to break it all down. And Sundance, who's the crowd you brought with you today? Well, these are our lucky winners. We had over 10,000 people write in for a shot to play today, and we, uh, we chose 50 and brought them down for a sneak peek. So what do you think? You've been waiting a long time. Was it worth the wait? Yeah, I mean, so far it's amazing. Everybody's having a great time. They don't uh, even care we're here, by the way. No, They're they so don't even the notice us. They're, the question was, do we, we don't have to talk on camera, do we? <laughs> we can just play, right? You can hear a pin drop in here. They're just yeah, so into they're the just, game. They're very much into it. This is, I mean, it's three years in the waiting. This, this game sold over a million and a half copies already pre-sold. Um, 7,000 stores are opening on midnight on Monday to sell the game at, you know, when it comes out. So this is just huge. This is a big, big, big deal. You mentioned three years. Why so long for Halo 2? Well, they wanted to get this one right. The first one was rushed a little bit uh, they, for the release of Xbox, and this one they, they rebuilt from the ground up. Um, the first one would revolutionize console multiplayer gaming, and this one is going even further in that direction, and this is a completely new engine, so it, it took a long time. All right, so how's the gameplay in this one? It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. The multiplayer is amazing. The campaign blows the first version away, in my opinion, and we got a sneak peek of it. Um, I think people are going to be very happy with the game. There are going to be some people who wish it was a Halo 1, but it's not. It's Why Halo is that? 2. It's a new game. People are so accustomed to the old one. The old one was a huge game. I mean, over 6 million copies sold. Uh, you know, so there are going to be a lot of people who are not going to like change, but I think change they'll get over it. Change is good. I think they'll get over what it. What makes these games so popular? It's just they're so immersive. I mean, look at this. It looks incredible. The gameplay is great. The consoles are so powerful. And with online gaming, you can play with people across the country. So add all those things together, and it's like you're playing in a movie. And this has got a great storyline, great animation, and you know, just great gameplay. It's like it can't what's, be beat. What's the violence like in this one? It's about the same as the first one. It's a mature title, so it's not for little kids. Um, but but it's not you know it's not over the top gore. It's 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 a futuristic sci-fi. So. We said people are lining up waiting. What's the projected sales for this game? I'm get. I think they're gonna sell you know at least six million copies of this by the holidays. I mean they they pre-sold one and a half to one point seven five. So that's a ton. All right, very cool. Sundance, thanks so much. Thanks, Good to I see care. you Good here. To see you too. But I say a special thank to all the gamers and to Sundance's company, MLG, for hooking us up with all this stuff today. Stay tuned. The boys are going to kick their extra points. You don't want to miss that. You're watching Cold Pizza.